Welcome. Thank you for taking time today to discover Southminster. I'm Stuart Wiley, Vice President of Sales and Marketing. While we encourage all to come and discover Southminster, one of the best ways to learn about all we have to offer is virtually. Over the next few moments, I'm going to take you through a presentation on Southminster that hopefully answers many of your questions and leads you to want to see for yourself or on behalf of a loved one what makes Southminster special. Since this is a PowerPoint presentation, you may view it in its entirety or stop and pick up additional sections later at your convenience. Let's begin. You may find this hard to believe, but there are some industry truisms of life plan communities and not just about Southminster. This is true of life plan communities across the country. Did you know that residents in life plan communities live on average five to seven years longer than those that don't? Now, why do you think that is? Well, if you think about it, when you, uh, uh, when you remove the stress of living in one's home, when you are engaged with people uh, intellectually, socially, uh, uh, you're engaged in activities with people on a daily basis, you eat better, you have the opportunity to work out more regularly, all of these factors play into residents and life plan communities living a longer, healthier life. And so when they are studied, as the slide illustrates, residents in life plan communities end up with more favorable scores in all measures of physical, social, emotional, and intellectual wellness. Uh, moreover, they reported being uh, more satisfied with life, more positive, more upbeat, more optimistic. And not only that, they report better health overall, fewer chronic conditions, better memory, and perhaps what's most important is, is they report a greater sense of purpose in life. We all want to live with purpose regardless of our age. There are advantages to a life plan community. One, of course, I've already mentioned is that life plan communities offer the full continuum of care for life, for one or both within a community. You will find in life plan community many convenient accessible activities and amenities, generally under one roof. Everything from dining to where you pick up your mail uh, to having prescriptions, prescriptions rather ordered and delivered. You will find an easier, simpler way of life. I mean, think about it. You're no longer having to worry about the responsibility of one's home. There was a lady that I uh, knew many years ago when I first got into the uh, industry and, and she was a widow, had been a widow for nearly 20 years and she lived in a grand old house and she says, you know, Stuart, she said, in one month, the water heater went out, the roof leaked, uh, the furnace went out. And she says, why in the world am I dealing with this? I am done. And she moved into that community and enjoyed a long life there. You also, because you don't have the burden of the house to uh, be accountable to anymore, you have the freedom to pursue the things that most interest you, your hobbies, your passions, your pursuits. And then one thing I would also highlight is the, is the idea that you are now around other people. Uh, one of the greatest risks that we run as we age is that of isolation. Well, in a community, in a life plan community, you have the opportunity to be engaged with people. You can be as private as you want to be if you choose, but you can also be as public as you want to be. But the opportunities are there for you to enjoy the company of one another. Friendships and socialization are hugely important and a big contributor into one living a longer, healthier life. I would also add that living in a life plan community offers you the advantages uh, of being a, a peace of mind, uh, not only for you and the care that you'll receive, but think about it for your family. I can't begin to tell you how many times uh, uh, an adult child has said to us that this is the greatest gift our parents have ever given us. You know, at the end of the day, your adult children don't want to make this decision. They are really uncomfortable in this decision. They look to you as the adult, as their mom, as their dad, as their parents to make this decision, just as you made decisions all along in your life. And so they are relieved when you make the decision and say to them, you know what, mom and, you know, mom and dad, we have, we, we, are, <laughs> uh, we have made the decision to move into a life plan community. And, and the child is just thrilled that mom and dad are now in a place where they can be cared for. And the daughter or the uh, son has said to us in return, now I can be a daughter again. Now I can be a son again. I can go and I can enjoy my parents without having to worry about their care. I know they're in good hands. P 
peace of mind, a huge, huge advantage to a life plan community. And then lastly, I would just add that in, in our industry, life plan communities, uh, continuing care retirement communities, over 80% of them are nonprofit. And, and if you're nonprofit, you're then mission driven. So we believe that it's very important to be a part of a community that's nonprofit. Again, mission driven, not earnings driven. Uh, the net revenues that are generated within the community are poured back into the community. They're not distributed among shareholders. Uh, we are accountable to a volunteer board of directors. You will also find in a nonprofit community more opportunities to be engaged. Uh, at Southminster, as an example, we have over 20 resident committees that residents can participate in. You will also find continuous ownership to be uh, uh, more true in a nonprofit than one that is for profit. In the for profit world, the asset, the bricks and mortar, the building is typically owned by a group of investors, typically a real estate investment trust, who then contracts with a management company to come in and manage the property as a continuing care community. It's, it's operated much like a hotel industry where perhaps you've seen a building in your town that has over, over time had four different hotels occupy the same space, a Marriott, a Hilton, a Hyatt, you name it. Well, the same thing applies. In the hotel industry, the asset, the bricks and mortar is owned by the REIT, the Real Estate Investment Trust. And then they contract with say Marriott to manage it as a hotel. The same applies in the for-profit world in senior housing. The REIT owns the asset, they contract with a management company. So oftentimes you may find a change in management in the for-profit world. In the non-profit world, you will find more stability. Southminster, as an example, owns the asset. The employees of Southminster work for Southminster. There is, there is continuous ownership, a stable ownership in the non-profit world, more so than in the for-profit world. You will also find that the average age of a resident in a life plan community is younger and the length of stay in a life plan community is longer. And then lastly, I would add, because most of us are nonprofit, many of us grew up in, uh, uh, in, uh, out of a faith-based heritage, there's a charitable care commitment. At Southminster, for example, residents are never asked to leave for financial reasons. We are obligated to care for you for life, even if one were to live so long that they outlive their financial resources. So we believe, of course, Southminster is a wonderful way to live the rest of your life. Quickly, an overview of Southminster. Hard to believe, but we now have been around for over 30 years. We opened our doors in 1987. Uh, it's interesting that we were founded by leaders within two local churches, Myers Park Baptist and Christ Episcopal. That, that in itself is fairly odd. Uh, what's not odd is life plan communities that are developed by denominations. You know, if you look around, you'll find uh, uh, denominational uh, life plan communities that are either Methodist or Presbyterian, Baptist, Catholic, Jewish. Uh, there are a number of them, again, that grew up out of denominations. But to have a community like Southminster uh, come from two local church bodies, that in itself is very unique. But today we enjoy over a 30-year heritage of delivering high-quality care and service. And as I mentioned at the outset, we are a life plan community. We offer the full continuum of care. You'll notice two uh, monikers, two icons at the, in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. One is Embrace Health, the other is Embrace Care. Embrace Health represents, for Southminster, it represents our assisted living and skilled nursing care. And Embrace Care is our licensed home care provider. We embody the word embrace because at Southminster, our view is we come alongside you and we embrace you for life. Here is an overview of our campus. Uh, as you may know, we are in South Charlotte. We are at the intersections of Smithfield Church Road and Park Road. Uh, we sit on 27 acres. Our main entrance is just off of Park Road. The building kind of then stretches back eastward and then northward, uh, if I can say northward. Uh, on the northeast corner of the property, you'll see our cottage community. Uh, as you enter our property to the north and to the south, you'll see our newest product. Those are the terraces, what we, we refer to as the Southminster Terraces. And then once you enter our main doors, you will see all these little connecting legs. 
And those represent all of our apartments. And then at the back corner of that connected space, you will see the, uh, where the new Embrace Health at Southminster ties in to this existing building. But we invite you to go on our website, southminster.org. Uh, you can view photos of these areas on campus. You can see some videos of these spaces on campus. We encourage you to explore our campus on the website. At Southminster, we offer three independent living residences. I mentioned a moment ago our newest product, the terraces. Uh, the terraces are 66 light-filled boutique apartments uh, conveniently located near the main entrance. Each of these comes with underground parking. Uh, they range in size from 1,383 square feet to over 2,000 square feet. The terraces were designed to replace cottages. In fact, in the industry, they are referred to as hybrid villas. They're hybrid in the sense that they're like an apartment and that they share a, they're in a, they're in a, a multi-unit building, but they're like a cottage in that they're separate from the main building and they enjoy multiple sides of light exposure and they have convenient parking within the building. And then we offer what we refer to simply as our apartments. And again, if you go back to the community map, you'll see all those little connecting legs. Within those connecting legs, you will find 208 apartments. And here under that one big roof, you will have access to all the amenities as well as health care. Our apartments begin as small as 600 square feet, and they believe it or not, they go uh, as large as 3,190 square feet. Uh, what's important to note here is there's something for everyone. And then thirdly, we offer cottages, 30 lovely cottages uh, uh, located on the back northeast corner of our property. Uh, they surround little tree-lined streets and cul-de-sacs. They range in size from 1,500 square feet to 1,900 square feet. So I'm delighted to introduce to you today that the Southminster Terraces, our newest product. You're looking uh, on this screen, you're looking at our South Terraces. These terraces opened up in uh, May of 2019. When we set out and originally designed this, uh, we envisioned two separate boutique buildings, uh, each with underground parking, each with their own elevators. What once had begun as two separate buildings ended up becoming one larger building with this connecting link that you see directly in front of you. And by having the connecting link, we were able to add community spaces for the residents in these terraces to come together, socialize, and, and have a good time. So again, like the South Terraces, you're looking at more or less two boutique apartment buildings that are joined together by a connecting link. On the back side of the North Terraces, you'll see this beautiful terrace. Now, one of the things that we wanted to incorporate into this connecting link was transparency. So you'll see in this link uh, lots of glass. We wanted that sunlight to flow from the front to the back, and you can see that it does in this picture. Uh, this terrace also gave residents within the terraces an opportunity to come outside to enjoy socializing with one another outdoors in a beautifully landscaped space. In total, the Southminster Terraces offer 10 new open transitional two-bedroom floor plans. Each, of course, comes with a large outdoor terrace. Uh, in designing these uh, apartments, we were intent on making sure that these apartments shared very little common walls. And where they did share a common wall, it was typically in what we refer to as a back of house wall, such as a bathroom or a kitchen. In other words, we don't have a, we don't have a scenario where master and master bedrooms where headboards are backing up one another or TVs and family rooms are backing up one another. There is privacy built in and designed within each apartment. We also added additional soundproofing for privacy. Uh, you will discover in the terraces dramatic high ceilings, 10 feet tall, uh, large windows that welcome just lots of light into the apartment. And as I mentioned earlier, the, the apartments are designed with uh, multiple sides of light exposure so that you get light from different angles. Each of the terraces comes with a vented gas fireplace. Now I'd like you to watch a video of the Southminster Terraces.
Welcome to Southminster Terraces, our newest residences with modern conveniences, secured underground parking, and additional storage designed for easy resident and guest access. A pretty, light-filled two-story foyer lobby leads you to beautifully furnished gathering spaces situated on multiple levels with expansive windows that brings the splendor of the outdoors in while inviting you to step outside and enjoy sunlit North Carolina weather. Comfortable furnishings in shared spaces make it easy to pull up a chair and socialize with neighbors. Paired window seating welcomes sunlight and offers views overlooking our manicured grounds. Beautifully landscaped outdoor spaces are perfect for safely gathering with family and friends. As the terrace's name implies, each home has French doors leading to its own private covered terrace. Our open transitional floor plans have rooms adorned with exquisite trim. Built-in gas fireplaces add relaxing warmth. Fully equipped kitchens shine with stainless steel appliances and quartz countertops, all ready for you to decorate. With an island, breakfast nook, and dining area, you'll be able to enjoy special dinners with those you love for years to come. You'll appreciate having beautiful, easy-maintenance hardwood flooring and high ceilings that visually enhance every space. Floor plans include laundry rooms with full-size side-by-side washers and dryers. You'll enjoy minimal shared wall space between residences and increased soundproofing for added privacy. Each residence is a bright canvas, ready to make your home reflect your style. We make it easy to infuse any space with your own personality and interests. In most plans, space for a study, office, or den can be tucked behind space-saving pocket doors. Our sophisticated designs can be made classic, modern, or anything in between. You'll enjoy spacious bedrooms with large walk-in closets, plus roomy tile baths for the rest of your life. Southminster Terraces 1,400 to more than 2,000 square foot residences designed for sophisticated living. Next are our independent living apartments. Earlier I mentioned we have 208 independent apartments all connected under one roof. We offer 60 floor plans ranging in size from 600 square feet to over 3,000 square feet. Here you'll find a variety of one and two bedroom residences, many with dens. As with all of our residences, all the appliances are included as well as the washer dryer. And each residence is equipped with a 24 hour emergency response system. One of my favorite apartments is this one. Uh, this is one that uh, actually ended up combining two apartments into one. And we created this large living room uh, that, that large enough to, you know, to uh, provide space, ample room for uh, a sitting area, a dining space. And if you look over to the left edge of this picture, you'll see a grand piano. And it was funny when I met with this couple many, many years ago, the, the wife was insistent that if we're gonna do it, I've gotta have room for my piano. And in this apartment, we found space for that apartment and she has been happy living here ever since. An example of one of our uh, finished apart our apartment kitchens, uh, new cabinetry, uh, counter, uh, quartz countertops, stainless steel appliances, new lighting. Here's an example too of a, one of our larger apartments. Uh, again, looking at the large living room. In this particular apartment, it has one of the few vented gas fireplaces in the apartment building, but with doors that open up to a large outdoor terrace. Other pictures of apartments include, uh, again, nice large bedrooms, large bathrooms, uh, intimate little rooms that, that can be used as TV rooms or studies or a den. Our cottage community is very quaint. We offer two bedroom cottage homes, each with a den and a sunroom. Our cottages range in size from 1,500 to 1,900 square feet. Each residence has an outdoor living space as well as a connected carport. In each of the cottages, you will find a vented gas fireplace. And as I mentioned earlier, 
Once more, all of your appliances are included in the cottage, as well as each of the cottages having a 24-hour emergency response system. Some pictures of the cottages. Uh, here is the front entrance to a cottage. A lovely foyer welcomes you. Off to the side of the foyer is a room that can be set aside as a, a den or a study, or in this instance, it's one's office. An example here of the combined living dining space. You can see there's ample room for a dining table and then a nice uh, area for a seating group with the gas fireplace. A little tighter shot of that living room. And then each of the cottages comes with a sunroom. And residents love these sunrooms. I also like to point out that uh, we love this picture because one of our favorite residents, Lady, is posing for this picture. Uh, as you may know, we are pet friendly, so we welcome your well-behaved pets at Southminster. An example of a cottage kitchen, again, you'll see the uh, updated cabinets, quartz countertops, stainless steel appliances, down lighting as opposed to the old fluorescent lighting, but a very up-to-date modern current kitchen. An example of a different kitchen in a cottage. Uh, one of the things we pride ourselves in at Southminster is that we give you a lot of say-so in how your home is finished. We want you to be happy in that home. We want it to be like you enjoy living. And so here are two cottages. Uh, one I showed you before with the kitchen. Here is another cottage with its kitchen. Entirely different, but the same footprint. So this one's a little more casual, but the resident in this case had a lot of say in how they wanted that kitchen to unfold. And then here is a picture of one of the bedrooms in the cottage as well as a bathroom, but you can see each of the rooms offer sufficient space. When you live at Southminster, you enjoy many convenient amenities and services. Uh, yeah, there was a couple I met many years ago when I first got into the business, and, uh, and I remember asking them, I said, what led you to make the decision to move to this particular community at the time? And before the man could answer, the wife jumped in and said, he retired 10 years ago. She says, I finally decided that I'm going to retire. I'm not cooking or cleaning anymore. And truly, one of the advantages to living in a community like Southminster is if you don't want to cook anymore, you don't have to. If you don't want to clean anymore, you don't have to because we take care of all of that for you. Your housekeeping. At Southminster, we even offer a linen service. Each week when the housekeepers come into your home, they will take your dirty linens, your dirty towels, they will take them off to our commercial laundry. We will launder them there. And not only that, we will press your linens and then return them to your residence so that when the housekeepers come back a week later and change your sheets, you're getting freshly pressed sheets on your bed. We take care of all your interior, exterior maintenance. Of course, we handle the grounds and the lawn care. Uh, we offer a, uh, what we refer to as a flexible dining program. I'll talk more about that here in just a moment. And then, of course, there's the activities calendar, the wellness programming, and then we also uh, are responsible, if you choose, uh, we are happy to uh, transport you to any medical appointment in the Charlotte area. This last year has been unlike any other. Uh, we have had to ad adapt quickly in how we deliver services. But all along, your comfort and safety is our priority. Uh, last year in March, uh, we had to uh, uh, almost shift on a dime. And we went from serving meals in our restaurants to delivering meals to everyone on site. And we're now beginning to open up our restaurants again, but still offering meal delivery to our residents. But prescriptions can be ordered and delivered to you here safely at Southminster. If you're uncomfortable going out to a grocery store, you can order your groceries online at Southminster and have them delivered to your door. Uh, we uh, uh, offered virtual events and classes and performances so that you can continue to stay engaged uh, during this time. Uh, we now have been able to offer safely distant small group activities, uh, exercise classes, so that you're still able to safely socialize with friends within the community. And we even set aside areas within our campus where residents and their family members can come safely together and enjoy spending time one with another. At the heart of our campus is our modern wellness center with its heated indoor pool, whirlpool, and dry sauna. Our pool is 27 meters in length. I'm told that's slightly larger than a junior Olympic sized pool. We have residents that enjoy water aerobics classes. We have residents that still swim. We have one resident who still competes athletically. He is a senior gold, a senior Olympian gold medalist, I might add. And how, what a thrill it is to walk into that pool and see him practicing swimming laps. 
There's a fully equipped exercise gym with pneumatic strength equipment. That's equipment that works against air pressure, making it easy to use and yet uh, uh, obtaining the goal that you desire. There is a aerobics room uh, in which we're able to offer a variety of exercise, strength, and stretch classes. One area that we take great pride in is our dining. One of the things that I've discovered in my life in senior housing, senior living, uh, not everyone plays golf, not everyone swims, not everyone works out in the gym, but everybody eats. And so being able to deliver great food on a daily basis is hugely, hugely important. At Southminster, we offer two wonderful dining options for you. One is the elegant promenade room. The other is our more casual oak leaf grill. In either, you will enjoy the freshest food with menus boasting farm to table and locally sourced ingredients. In fact, over 85% of what we serve is fresh or locally sourced. We change our menus seasonally. We change our menus weekly within season trying to bring residents fresh, delectable options day in and day out. You will also find private dining venues in which you can re reserve and set aside for uh, a holiday gathering or a special celebration, maybe a birthday celebration. And then we also have a fully licensed pub now known as Lola's, uh, where you can come together and socialize with friends and just have a grand time. All of this, the amenities, the services, the dining, the wellness center, the accommodations, all of this is supported by a full continuum of care. Embrace Care, our fully licensed home care provider, and Embrace Health, our higher levels of assistance. In Embrace Health, you'll find assisted living, memory support, skilled nursing, on-site rehabilitation, that is physical speech and occupational therapy, a nurse staffed medical clinic five days a week, as well as physician services, our medical director, Dr. Thad Clements, sees Southminster residents in our medical clinic each week. You will find an on-site pharmacy. All of this is overseen by 24-hour uh, nurse supervision. And for every resident at Southminster, we develop an individualized plan of care. So whether one is living independently or in the higher levels of care, you each have an individualized plan of care. Embrace Care, I mentioned a moment ago, is our fully licensed home care provider. That generally is the first step in the continuum of care. Our goal is to help you live independently for as long as possible. And if you, as long as you can live safely in your residence, we're going to do our very best to help you do that. And Embrace Care is one means by which we can. And with Embrace Care, we can provide you assistance with the activities of daily living, things such as bathing, dressing, grooming, etc. Generally, it takes the form of maybe help with medication reminders at some point, or it could be companionship, help with meal preparation, or just doing some general light household chores. Now I'm excited to introduce to you our brand new Embrace Health at Southminster. Over 10 years in the making, we are just overjoyed to have opened up this new, wonderful, architecturally vibrant building in the fall of 2020. Over 200,000 square feet, nearly $60 million in cost. It is unlike anything you will find in the Charlotte area, offering a very innovative design and, and, and intentionally designed to afford us a way to care for residents such that their needs are placed first. We refer to it as a person-centered approach to care, or as the quote on the screen says, if you're the resident, there's nothing about me without me. The building was uh, designed to accommodate what we refer to as small house neighborhoods. Uh, nursing care that once had been very institutional, larger communities are now broken down into four smaller communities. Neighborhoods, if you will, with living and activity spaces designed to look and function like home, and most importantly, encourage socialization among the residents. At South Mister, we were also intent that we wanted this building to integrate with all levels of living. You know, there's some communities you can go to and they'll take health care, they'll take those higher levels of care and they'll kind of carve out and create a building, build a building and they'll set it aside and it's separate from the independent living area of the campus. 
Southminster has always been very intentional that these residents are just as important as any resident on our campus. And so we've always wanted these levels of care to be integrated within the community of Southminster. And the way we've designed the Embrace Health at Southminster building, it does just that. Because this building ties into our independent living apartments. And where it ties into those apartment, apartments, we created these beautiful new common spaces that I'm gonna show you pictures in, of in just a moment that allow for residents it, it, of all levels of care to come together and to be one with another. So we've created a video that just does a marvelous job giving you a sense, a picture of what the new Embrace Health at Southminster is all about. So I invite you to take a few minutes and enjoy the video. Welcome to Embrace Health at Southminster, a new innovative approach to person-centered care that includes a 12-bed inpatient community dedicated to hospice care. Our small house concept offers beautiful and comfortable surroundings that reimagine the experience of gathering with friends and family. Vibrant architecture and resident art displays celebrate individuality and reflect our person-centered approach to care. Seamlessly connecting independent living with Embrace Health is the gallery, our newest space for socializing and keeping connected to the joys of life. It's home to a special gathering space, Lola's Bar, as well as private dining and elegant common areas. The gallery loft elevates life at every turn with a new library and beautiful furnishings that create an uplifting ambiance. Selwyn, Park, Colony, and Carmel, four small house nursing neighborhoods are named for beloved Charlotte streets close to Southminster. Each provides residents with easy access and a strong sense of community. Large transitional living spaces offer entertainment and are open to an inviting outdoor terrace. An open, fully equipped kitchen overlooks the spacious dining and living room, offering space to enjoy friends while surrounded by a supportive community. Each private room has a full bath, convenient pass-through closet, zero-entry shower, and an integrated lift system. Each neighborhood includes a private spa bathing area, well-appointed gathering areas, and access to the Embrace Health Chapel, a quiet place to reflect, regroup, and find spiritual sustenance. There is also a separate salon and a gymnasium for physical, occupational, and speech therapy. Our assisted living neighborhood encompasses 25 one-bedroom apartments. Providence features comfortably furnished shared spaces and an intimate dining venue. Presenting the same level of luxury, Uptown reflects the tastes of our modern southern city and provides easy access to outdoor dining. Each one-bedroom suite has a separate bedroom, its own kitchenette, a living room, fully tiled bath with zero-entry shower. Embrace health at Southminster. Nothing comes close for comfort, convenience, and personalized care in the Charlotte area. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and perhaps you're able to see why we are as excited as we are about this new space. Uh, but here are just a few images of that space for you to take a closer look at. One is our grand entrance. This is on our second level. Uh, this is just a grand lobby, plenty of space for residents to come together and to visit one with another. It also opens up into our large outdoor terrace. On the third floor, overlooking a space known as the gallery, is our new library. And you can see the beauty of this space. 
inviting fireplaces, big comfortable chairs. Uh, there are reading racks from which you can select numerous books in which to read. I mentioned the gallery. The gallery is our largest new common space, uh, connecting independent living with our higher levels of care. Uh, and here is just one photo of the gallery. It's a two-story venue, uh, grand in every way. Up on that uh, second level, you can see the loft library that I referenced just a moment ago. And then on the main level, this is now home to our bar known as Lola's, named after one of our most beloved residents, Lola McMillan. Here's a picture of the gallery and Lola's during the daytime. And again, you can see the library loft up above. And a shot from the other end of the bar. This is Lola's. And there you can see our grand staircase leading up to the loft library. Just off the gallery is a solarium that can be reserved for private dining. Here you can have our culinary team cater the entire event in the privacy of your very own room. We also added the new Embrace Chapel. This is one of two chapels on Southminster's campus that affords residents the opportunity to come together uh, and to worship, to meditate, to pray, uh, to seek uh, spiritual sustenance. At the center of this new Embrace Health at Southminster is this beautiful landscape courtyard with these grand terraces that overlook this space. Here, residents in assisted living and skilled nursing can step outside on these large, oversized and covered terraces and enjoy the beauty and the serenity of this landscape courtyard. Within Embrace Health at South Mister, we're now able to offer, for the very first time, 25 one-bedroom assisted living apartments. For years, assisted living at South Mister had been studios. Well, now we're able to offer a true one-bedroom apartment for these residents. So I can't begin to tell you how excited we are to be able to do that. We also now are able to offer, for the very first time, 60 fully private skilled nursing rooms each with full private baths. Now we have taken those 60 rooms and we have divided them among four small house neighborhoods. Each neighborhood has no more than 15 private residences each. On the first level of the Embrace Health at Southminster, in fact, if you look at this picture in the bottom right hand corner, that bottom right hand corner of the building is home to the Levine Dixon Hospice House. There they have 12 inpatient hospice beds. Within Embrace Health at Southminster, we also were able to add in a, an expanded uh, physical rehab space. So that, you know, there we can accommodate our residents in the areas of physical speech and occupational therapy. And as you saw just a moment ago, uh, we have those lovely outdoor terraces in the landscape courtyard for all to enjoy. Here is a picture of one of the three resident family rooms in assisted living. Again, these are designed for residents to come out, to socialize, to sit in front of the fire, to watch a, a game on the TV, maybe play a game, have an activity. You can also see that each of these living rooms also step out onto the beautiful, large, oversized terrace. Here's an example of an activity room within assisted living, game tables, again, another fireplace, TV, and once more, access to an oversized outdoor terrace. We're also thrilled to be able to provide residents in assisted living their own beautiful upscale dining venue, now known as Uptown. It anchors the top floor of this building and it also opens up to outdoor rooftop dining. So all meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner for our residents within assisted living will be handled in this venue. Now I'd like to introduce for you the small house. So you're actually looking at a picture of the small house dining and living room. So remember, we have four neighborhoods or four small houses within the Embrace Health at Southminster. Each of these small houses has no more than 15 residents, 15 rooms in each community. So what actually is a small house? Well, as I mentioned, it's smaller architecture. It's not as large a community as what one would have experienced in the past. You know, if you think about it, skilled nursing grew out of the hospital model. 
So if you think about the hospitals of old, maybe even the hospitals of today, you know, you find long double, what we call double barreled corridors with rooms just going right down, the, you know, each side, very cold, very institutional. In the small house model, you have smaller communities. The rooms themselves surround living space. Again, encouraging those residents to pour into that living space and to be one with another. It also allows for more flexible programming because you're not dealing with as many people. You're dealing with a fewer number of residents. We were also very intentional in the design of the small house to remove what I refer to as some visual barriers. An example of that would be the old uh, Hoyer lift. I don't know if you've ever seen a Hoyer lift, but it is not an attractive piece of equipment. And generally, you'll walk down the corridor of one of these skilled nursing uh, facilities and you'll see you know, one or more Hoyer lifts lining the hall. Well, in our small house, we've done away with the Hoyer lift. We, we've integrated into each of the small house rooms, bedrooms, we've, we've integrated uh, an, an in-ceiling lift system so that we don't have to push around this Hoyer, Hoyer lift into rooms when they are needed and, and, and they are now just gone. A second visual barrier is that of the med cart. You remember how nurses would, would push their med carts. Some would get really married to their med carts and they would roll that med cart into the dining room and then all the residents would gather around the, the med cart and, and somebody would issue them their, that nurse would issue them their medicine. Well, in the small house model, we treat each resident's room as if it were their own house. So just like in your own house, you store your medicines in your house, well, our residents have their medicines stored in their room, of course, in a locked cabinet, but they're in their room. So that nurse can come into their room on a one-by-one -one basis and administer their medications privately within that room. So we've taken away some of those visual barriers that, that contributed to the, to, the, to the old images of skilled nursing. Uh, we further designed the rooms in these small houses to protect each resident's dignity and privacy. As an example of that, as one enters the room, there is a convenient pass-through closet where a, 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 a care partner can come in and they can just stand in the entryway, open up the closet, stock the shelves with linens and towels, never having to set foot into the resident's bedroom, never having to set foot into the resident's bathroom. And then the resident can access that same closet from the bathroom side and, 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 and pull out a, a, a linen or a towel should they need it. Again, this whole idea of collaborative decision making, nothing about me without me, this is about your life. In the, in the small house, residents don't have to, you know, uh, they set their schedule. If a resident doesn't like to eat breakfast at 7.30, wants to eat it at 9.30, they can. If they don't want to eat lunch at noon, they want to eat it at 2 o'clock, they can. If they would like a care partner to help them bake cookies at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, guess what? They can. Each of those small house neighborhoods has a menu prepared just based on, based on what the residents in that community desire. So if we have four small houses, we may very well have four different menus operating. And each of those meals are prepared within each of those small houses. Just like you could have four houses on a street and in one house somebody's preparing meatloaf and in the next house somebody's preparing pot roast and in the next house somebody's grilling chicken. The same thing can be applied within the small house model at Southminster. So here's an example of one of the private rooms. Uh, again, this is a private room within the small house the nursing level of care. And here you can actually see in the ceiling, you can see the integrated lift system. And this integrated lift system enables a resident to, with, with, the, with, the, uh, with a strap attachment to be able to be hoisted up out of their bed and they can be transferred directly into the bathroom, either to the toilet or directly into the shower. So here is a picture of the bathroom within this private residence. And here you can, again, you can see two things. One, you can see the track system on the ceiling that again is a part of that integrated lift system that can carry a resident directly from their bed to the commode or further on into the shower. You'll also see the convenient pass-through closet. Again, that the resident can access on this side, whereas the attendant has stocked it from the other side. Within each of the four small houses, there is a private spa bathing area. 
Their residents can enjoy a jetted bath spa, and there they may also have their hairstyle. So what are my next steps? Well, <laughs> you have options available to you. One option, of course, is to do nothing. Uh, you can stay in your house as you are currently doing. Uh, you can stay in your house with home care and modify it as needed. You can move to a life plan community like South Mister. Uh, you can wait, as some like to say, until something happens and then move to an assisted living community when needed. Or you could, maybe worse, wait even longer and move to a skilled nursing facility when required. What do you think the problem is if you wait until something happens? Well, the problem becomes you're no longer in charge of your own destiny. At the moment, when you're considering a life plan community and you're able to move in and live independently, you're still in control of that decision. You're in control of where and how you want to live the rest of your life. If one waits until something happens, all of a sudden the circumstances are now driving the decision. You're no longer in charge. And too often we have an adult child that ends up calling us saying, I've got to do something about mom, I've got to do something about dad, can you help me? And, and in that moment in time, sometimes we, really, we can't help. And so our advice is to be proactive while you can control the decision. You make up your mind today how and where you want to live the rest of your life. A move to Southminster, believe it or not, is really easier than you may think. At Southminster, we are an entrance fee community. We offer refundable options as well. You may receive back either 50% or 90% of your entrance fee based on the plan chosen. We have predictable monthly service fees, and they're all inclusive month monthly service fees. And I use the word predictable purposely. Predictable in the sense that once that monthly fee is set, it's not going to adjust for another 12 months. And I don't mind telling you, I've been here nearly nine years, or over nine years, I should say now, and we have not had an increase larger than 3%. In fact, it has ranged anywhere between 2.75 and 3% each year. So you more or less know what to expect on a monthly basis in terms of your fees. And then I also like to add that a portion of the fees that you pay are considered a medical expense and they may offer you tax advantages. I want to be real clear here that the, the fees you pay are not considered a tax deduction, but a percentage or a flat dollar amount of your fees is considered by the, by the IRS as a medical expense. And so you can take that amount and add it into your other medical expenses over the course of a year. And then to the extent that your medical expenses uh, exceed the, the IRS approved percentage of adjusted gross income, it may offer you a tax advantage. But again, it's not a direct tax deduction. It just helps you be able to claim a medical expense deduction. And then should you desire it, we can make available to you uh, some really helpful moving services. Uh, there, are, there are move managers that are, are worth their weight in gold in terms of being able to help you plan the move, orchestrate the move, do everything from packing to unpacking to setting you up to even coordinating the move itself. So it really is a move easier than you think. So what should you do following this presentation today? Well, if you're comfortable, I would encourage you to schedule a tour. Uh, we are glad to welcome you on campus. We can safely tour you through our campus. We can show you some of the homes here at Southminster. Believe it or not, I, I don't hesitate to encourage you to visit other communities. I liken this decision to a decision a young person makes about going to college. You know, if you look across our great state, there are a number of great university options. And, and, and really, uh, unless, unless you're just particularly loyal to one school over another, there really isn't a bad choice in the mix. A young person can decide that they want to go to you know, UNC or Duke or Wake Forest or UNC Greensboro or UNC Asheville or UNC Charlotte or any of the many other private schools or smaller schools. And in and of themselves, none of those are bad choices. And I like to say the same thing about our industry. Charlotte is blessed with some wonderful, wonderful communities. They are all wonderful communities. And, and so it really becomes a question of which one is the right one for me? Which is the one that I can uh, best afford? And so I encourage you to do your homework. Go see these other communities and then make your decision about which is the best one for me, just like you would encourage your child or grandchild to make the best decision about where they would like to go to college. You make it about how you want to live the rest of your life.
You may find in today's market, uh, by chance, because it, it hadn't been for about seven years, but you may find in today's market that there are some immediate opportunities that you can take advantage of. So if you were willing to move today, you may find an opportunity that wasn't there a year ago. I can tell you at South Mister, we were seven years and, 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 and had a long wait. Well, right now, uh, you might be able to take advantage of an opportunity if it presented itself. So uh, take advantage of that. You may not be looking to move right now, and if you're not, then I would encourage you to join our future residency list, the Compass Club. And not only do I encourage you to join our Compass Club or our future residency list, believe it or not, I encourage you to join other wait lists. And the reason I do is, is because I want you to have a choice when it comes time to make a decision. So I don't want you to, I don't want the circumstances to control your decision. I want you to control the decision. So I encourage you, if you can, to get on two or three wait lists so that you have a choice when that time comes. I hope that decision is South Mister, but if it's not, I'm not going to be upset if you go to one of our friendly competitors. So decide about how and when and where you're going to live and do it now. But most importantly, most importantly, make that decision long before something happens. So briefly, our Compass Club, it is South Mister's future residency list. Uh, it offers you a priority on the residence that you, of your choice. Uh, when one becomes available, you kind of set the time frame. You tell us what style, what uh, type, uh, how large a residence that you want. And then we order you by your original date of deposit and your expressed readiness. Some will tell us they're ready now. Others will say they're ready in three to five years. Some will say they're ready uh, they won't be ready for 10 years. And some will get on the list and say, well, I ain't never going to be ready. Well. It just gets you on the list and it gives you an opportunity should one present themselves. Now, when things are normal, we like to extend you complimentary dining privileges. At the moment, we're not able to, but we do hope to bring that privilege back. We also invite you to join our wellness center. Uh, again, that is a privilege that we're not able to offer at the moment, but as things begin to open up again, we will offer that to you. Uh, and then likewise, we would also invite you to many of our community events and activities. All of that for $1,000. There's no application fee, and get this, it's fully refundable. So what do you got to lose? We invite you, come join the fun. We think you'll like it. Discover a life of choice, friendship, well-being, learning, giving, Southminster.